Finally releasing the Tesla Model 3 open pour wood vinyl wrap. Let's take a look at what we got and let's show you how easy it installs. Uh, this of course is the current open pour dashboard in all the Model 3s. And we finally have our wrap, which is a really, really, really good match. We're gonna show a lot of photos of how it looks in sunlight, shade, different uh, types. And let's show you how simple it is to install this. Again, this is a very, very thick material, very tacky, and uh, we're gonna do it with a wet installation. So what you get with your kit is you get a squeegee, you get a soap solution that you mix with water. First thing we need to do is clean the interior, and everything needs to be wiped down. So we want good adhesion, and this, of course, is a different pattern because of the cup holders and because of the thickness of this material, we cannot cover the entire area around the cup holders inside of the radius. So everyone will see how this fits. We think it looks really nice. And uh, let's get started. And I think we're gonna start at the top. So you're gonna get a sheet like this. It should be all rolled up nicely. And it's super thick, it's easy to work with. Nothing to worry about. And uh, we suggest you spray with water, um, the water solution. Just spray the first two pieces and you'll see why. And then when I remove it from the sheet, uh, let's take a look at this up close. It's very thick, it's textured. It feels like an open porous wood. It's not smooth, it's very much like this. And you can see it's a really nice match with the same lines. So again, I'm touching it, it's sticky, and we're gonna get a little bit wet, and we're gonna squeegee the water out, and we're gonna show you how the top trapezoid piece fits. So watch this, I mean, that's it, it's done. It's in place, it fits side to side, and the amount of room at the bottom is subjective, but because we're not wrapping the edges, we suggest you stop right about here at the bottom, leaving a nice even amount. And if you find it tacking up on you, put a little bit more of our soap solution underneath. And remember, we're gonna give you that. You just add 32 ounces of water. And once you get it right where you want it, where you've got a little bit of black area showing at the very bottom, just take the squeegee and squeegee the water out. As you squeegee the water out, it's gonna start adhering and it's gonna stick in place. And doesn't that look good? It's so simple. This is basically like a thick wallpaper uh, type material. It's vinyl, it's not made by 3M, but it sure looks nice and matches nice. Uh, next piece we call the flip drawer. And we're probably gonna sell this with our three bar option. So you'll be able to stick the three bar decal on here or here, like an on off button. So we're gonna take some pictures of that after we finish it. But watch how simple this is. Just a couple squirts on top, a couple there, and then just with your hands, you squeegee it, I mean, you lay it around, you figure out where you want it. So you'll notice that on this pattern, we are having a black border designed this way on purpose, because these pieces cannot wrap around these sharp 90 degree edges. So again, position it where you want it, squeegee it down, and now the second piece is in place and I'm gonna double check the top edge. So put it right up to the edge like this. You can move it around. And again, as you squeegee it down gently, 
the water is being pushed out that you put underneath. So like this, I mean, it's simpler than any kind of wallpaper and uh, it sure looks great. It's thick, it's rich, and it is quite expensive, this material, but we're gonna try to sell it at a very reasonable price. That's undetermined. And last, the cup holders. So let's do this. Now, this cup holder pattern is the biggest difference. We made the cup holders larger because we cannot put the material down inside. We hope everybody understands that. We hope everyone likes the way this is gonna look. This is the first time we're putting it in and the final actual material. So again, we didn't put the uh, handles on this because it's so thick in nature and you're just gonna lay it down right in place. So we're gonna start with the top piece and lay it down. And again, looking at the arch of the peninsula, you just put it down and look at the top. You can see how we're squared up and we've got a nice little gap at the very top, about a quarter inch from this piece or maybe a 3 16 and then lay it down. Now on this piece, we did make it wider. So we are gonna do some tucking to put it underneath. These two parts pivot and open and close. So we did not want them dragging on the aluminum sills. This piece is fixed, but we designed this, so we're gonna tuck the edges underneath. So it really will look built in, it'll really look OEM-like. So let's squeegee, and then we'll look at these cup holders, and we can make sure that we're good. The material here is not coming down into the curved area. We just don't want this getting uh, pulled off over time or wearing out. So we didn't want to try to design this to go down inside. So with a towel, watch how simple this is, just squeegee it to the side. Okay, I'm pushing the water out. I'm actually pushing the material underneath. So see how the moldings on the side actually can have the squeegees designed to fit underneath here. So you get a real nice fit. You can do it on both sides and the material fits right up against there. All right, so let's just secure this. So we remove the water from underneath the heavy vinyl so it's in place. And now this piece. So again, the soap solution gives you the lubrication to move it around anywhere you want it. And then up a little bit and you should have a brown or the light brown colored wood right up against the edge on both sides and here we have the little bit of extra material so watch what's going to happen now we're going to put a little bit of water on top squeegee it to the side and now we're ready to tuck this underneath so from down here we put the squeegee in so everyone could see how this works. And we're just going to slide it across all the way up. Now the material is being pushed underneath the edge. You can lift up here to help widen the gap. But as you squeegee the water out, this little tiny 32nd of an inch of material is now underneath here. So I'm lifting up on the molding and tucking in. All right, look at that. It's clean. It's very nice. Now we're going to dry it. It takes another five seconds. And we have one more thing here we have to take care of. Now this lip in the back, we elected to keep. We were going to cut it short, but we wanted to keep it to cover up this material here. Uh, it can be a high traffic area. So we're just going to press it down. If your material is lifting up, just tuck it down underneath. And again, all the water is not completely out yet. So after this dries, you'll be able to simply tack this edge down when all the moisture is gone. But for now, it's okay. It's just adhesive and it's got a little dampness to it on the back. So let's close the armrest and take a look at what we got. So I hope everyone understands this. With this pattern, we wanna go close to the edges so it doesn't drag. We don't want you to have to flip anything over because it's so thick. And we wanted to have this gap between the panels to make it look really nice, really um, 
modern, I think is the word. Showing black, the open pour wood look, and the aluminum sides, and the cup holder area is great. Nothing is going to snag or get caught or lift up. It's a beautiful pattern. It fits really nice. Pictures and, now. And again, this divisional pattern that we came up with, with a simple wet solution, makes it so easy to install. And look at all these to open up and close. And we're gonna put three bars right here for model three as the push button. Thanks again for looking, RPM Tesla. And we're real proud of this new pattern. It'll be interesting to see how quickly it's gonna spread and how many people will try to emulate this. But we think this is the best material and uh, super thick vinyl uh, designed for offices and furniture companies. And uh, just wanna shoot a little video to show everybody here with the uh, location of the three bars. And also with this kit, we forgot one thing. We're going to give you the same open porous wood for the ledge that holds your cell phone. So you're going to have a matching piece there. So you're going to get one, two, three, and four pieces. Everything looks really nice, even with the charging pad that we have in the back here, the RPM wireless charging pad. Again, this fits real nice on here and everything matches nicely and all of the black glossy plastic is protected. That's the main reason we started making these things and we can't forget that. So as you open up the drawer, you're always gonna have the same piece there, whether it's the flip drawer, but again, we think this is a nice touch and you just simply put it on dry, it slides right on. Thanks again, RPM Tesla. Our vinyl wrapped center console for the Tesla Model 3. Thank you.